We're shuttering up the house for a couple days here in Crete because we're heading on our first island adventure. Road trip. Um, ocean trip, boat trip. So we're kitted out like pack mules. We just dropped Pegasus off at Motor Club and we're walking to the ferry in this beautiful light back this way. And the sunrises here have just been crazy, crazy good. And yeah, another one to head off in. We're jumping on sea jets on the ferry and we're heading to Syros via Mykonos. So uh, yeah, some ferry time coming up. Both Jody and I picked up some sort of cold. We're not in the best conditions, but Nothing like a little bit of sea air to make you feel better. No matter what boat I get on, I can't help but go, I'm on a boat anytime. It's like a requirement by travel law. So one of the cool things about this ferry ride is because we're going such a far ways away, we're stopping at a lot of the places, a lot of the islands we're gonna be checking out later in the trip. So right now we're actually at Santorini, at the port, and it's crazy here, just massive cliffs all around. You can't even really see the cities, just white lines on the top of the cliffs. It's got me like all jazzed up, all excited and stoked for when we eventually get to, get to check out this island a little bit longer. are a little bit crazy so we're kind of sea legging it down here so we got a text from sea jets yesterday saying that our boat had been changed no longer direct to Syros. we're now like having a quick stop in Mykonos but we're over an hour delayed so we're not sure we're gonna make our connection so fingers crossed we can make this happen So the boat's up there. We just checked at the booth and the system here is so stupid because you have to, like you buy the tickets online but you don't get the tickets online. Then you have to go to an agency and pick them up. But then they changed our tickets and then they said you have to go to this agency and get them. But we don't have tickets for the original one. So they're like, just go on the bus and tell them your story. So I'd say 50-50 we're getting on this boat. But uh, we should probably run a bit. We got to the bottom of the boat and the guy said, you need a ticket, you can't get on this boat without a ticket. And I told them, but they weren't listening, they didn't listen, they didn't listen, nobody listened. So I started yelling <laughs> and magically we're on the boat now. So I guess the problem solved for now, but wow, what a, a mission. How do you not have electronic tickets in today's day and age? Especially when you can buy them online, it's just crazy. And then to send a text message and say, oh yeah, your booking's been changed. To go to a travel agency and say, oh, you need to go directly the boat then go directly to the boat and then them to say you need tickets crazy but we're on the boat we're heading to Syros
He made it to Syros. That was much more of a journey than we expected. We thought we were going to jump on this boat and have five hours to just do work. But yeah, it ended up being a bit of a mission. It's now late afternoon and uh, we're just going to walk down to our hotel. We made it, the lens is all fogged up. Oh, Demuling myself. And uh, yeah, this town looks awesome. It looks really, really cool. Check this out. So it's crazy windy. I'm really tired to be honest as well. So I think I'm gonna pull a nap and then I'm gonna take out the 100 to 400 millimeter lens. You know that when I get to a destination for my first time, I like to just walk around with one random lens. Why not the 100 to 400 here? It looks like there's lots of cool telephoto stuff to shoot. So yeah, nap time, then photo time. Oh, not having a good day. I just smashed my knee on the bed. And I just realized that I'm an idiot. That when I packed this morning, I packed the vlogging camera, I packed the DSLR, I packed absolutely everything for photography except for batteries and the chargers. So the DSLR has one full battery that's got to last me four days of photography here in Ciro's. The vlogging camera will die because it's only got half a battery and the vlogging camera usually burns almost a battery a day. So i um, kind of screwed on the battery front, kind of effed up there. Um, yeah, seriously, but we'll make do. Jody's got her M50, so maybe I'll use it and maybe we'll find a camera store tomorrow that has a charger. I think when I started this vlog like two years ago, I was making mistakes all the time. When I started this vlog two years ago, every day I was forgetting my tripod or something with a drone. I was forgetting things. And I think part of growing as a professional is you forget things less often. The difference between a professional photographer and a hobbyist is you make f mistakes less often. That's it. That's the only difference. And uh, yeah, a bit of a botched mistake today. Jody also shoots the 5D Mark III, which has the same battery, but she assumed I packed my charger too. So now we both don't have batteries. So I guess we'll try to figure that out tomorrow. As for now, we've got the 100 to 400 on and we're gonna go walk around and maybe burn some battery. So of course, I want to be taking pictures like crazy and I'm like trigger shy right now. It's windy here in uh, in Ciro's and there's just waves smashing up against the seawall and they're kind of jumping up. And every now and then some kids kind of run in front of it and I'm trying to hopefully frame a shot with a 100 to 400 where the kids are kind of in front of this giant wall of water. Hopefully this works out. Hopefully I don't burn too much battery. Wow, it's crazy, crazy this water. So of course when we have no battery we find out that Ermopoli or whatever you pronounce this place in Syros is so photogenic. Look down this street, an old building, cathedral up on the top, ah, it's just so good. So many photos, we've only come, our hotel's right there, back there, so we've only come less than a kilometer and I've already seen seven different photos, seven different compositions. But yeah, this is a bit of a classic, a bit of a hero image. I need to conserve battery.
I'm just gonna sign off now to save some battery. I'm not uh, jumping, I just wanna show you guys the beach here. There's like this beach, they call it the beach, and it's just cement laid out straight along the coast here. It's really cool. I think we'll check that out another day. Uh, tons to check out here, tons to photograph. Lots of churches, lots of really cool vistas, lots of seascapes. I think even some telephoto shots that I shot handheld today into like the Lego boxes of houses in the church here probably came out pretty cool. So uh, I'm looking forward to our time here as long as the batteries survive. And I guess worst case scenario, I'll take a bit of a vacation. So um, yeah, that's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.